Let's talk about marble, granite, and stone. That would be like travertine and terrazzo. If you have old flooring that is marble, travertine, granite, uh, or terrazzo, and it's just beat up and you want to bring it back to life, the first thing you would do is clean it, okay? You would use maybe a neutral cleaner and you would use like a, a green cleaning pad. And you would just use a floor machine and go over it, um, scrubbing, picking up, rinsing, whatever. Once the floor is clean, if um, you have some scratches you want to take out on a travertine or terrazzo floor, you can use a, a screen. And they come in different grits. This is a 60 grit, but you always start off with an aggressive grit to take out the scratches and go up to like maybe 400 grit. And then after you're done screening, the travertine or terrazzo, you would then decide if you're going to um, crystallize it or um, go over it with a diamond pad. And this is like a 1500 grit diamond pad. So you would take your travertine and terrazzo and go over it with a, with a 1500 grit diamond pad. And then what you would do is um, you would rinse the floor out well, let it dry overnight. And then if you decided you wanted to get a little bit more a richer look or seal it rather than use like a silicone impregnator which is nothing but a pain in the butt you would use a crystallizer and you would apply the crystallizer with a steel wool pad okay and this is the crystallizer right here you would spray four or five sprays on the uh, on the uh, terrazzo or travertine and right away go over it with this pad on a floor machine until it dries you will keep on doing the process until the floor is the finish your desired finish and then you're done you know okay so if you have marble and granite floors again you would follow step one which you would clean the floor thoroughly with neutral cleaner and a green pad for marble and granite floors at that point you would take I wouldn't recommend you screen the marble or granite because you're going to have a big problem with scratches and a lengthy uh, process, okay? Stone is easy to screen because it's a softer material, but marble, marble and granite is very difficult. So then what you would do is once you've cleaned it, you don't have to let it dry. You grab diamond pads. This one's 1,500. You go over it with the 1,500 with water. Then you maybe go to 3,000, 8,000, or 13,000 grit. And uh, when you're done, you should have a really nice shine. You may have a couple little scratches, but sometimes you have to forego a little bit scratches and a lot of shine uh, for not having to pay somebody $6 a square foot to refinish your floor. Okay, part of the other process of granite and marble polishing, crystallizing, if you have scratches on granite and marble, we use a marble restore powder. You use this with a um, hog's hair pad. You basically sprinkle the powder on the floor and you go over it with water and, it, and you're honing it, okay? You can see there's a picture of that right here, somebody honing it, okay? And after you've done, you would rinse the floor thoroughly, let it dry overnight, and if you want to, you can go over it again with a crystallizer for the marble and granite using, again, a steel wool pad to bring back some type of um, shine. And the more you spray and go over it with this pad, the, the, the harder and the shinier the floor is going to get. Remember, you're not going to get all the scratches out because it's almost impossible. It's really difficult if you have lippage. That just means that somebody incorrectly installed the floor and you've got a heck of a lot of work trying to solve a problem. So, marble, granite, travertine, terrazzo, clean with a neutral cleaner. You can restore it with a powder, shine it with a crystallizer, you can use sand screens and different grits. You can use diamond pads, a green cleaning pad, and a steel wool pad. More videos to come.